everybody's running and the world is getting so crazy. People work so hard, there's no time to be lazy. The weekend comes, I'm down with that. Grab your ball, grab your bat, head to the beach, grab some brains. Better hurry up, just got two days. Playing games, hanging out, going closer, then we're down. The chair was entertaining motions concerning the weekend fun issue. Tish, I don't believe we've had any suggestions from you. Actually, I was thinking I might spend this weekend by myself. You mean like, by yourself? Tish, what's the matter? Nothing. I was just thinking I'd stay in. Weird, huh? People don't spend time alone on purpose, do they? They do it because they smell, or because they can't find their way out of their room, or the second one could lead to the first. I just can't figure out what Tish's terrible secret is. Terrible secret? Why else would she want to be alone this weekend? Oh, well, there's lots of reasons someone might want to be alone. Like, her plotting to take over the world by inventing a killer zombie serum? You're overreacting again. All right. What is this? It tastes like a burger. It's a burger. Made of what? Meat. Are you sure? Because normally you use some kind of weird... Okay, it's ostrich meat. Ugh! Ostrich is very low in fat. Ugh! And it's just a bird. You like chicken, don't you? Yeah, but I know an ostrich. Mr. Hankel down the street has a bunch of ostriches, and there's this one, I call him Jimmy. He pokes his head through the fence when I walk by. Mr. Hankel is an ostrich farmer. That's where I got the meat. Oh, Jimmy! Sweetie, Tish probably just wants some time alone. I'm sure that's all there is to it. Don't you think you should just trust her? Maybe. But I trusted you, and you served me Jimmy on a bun! There's gotta be something Tish isn't telling us. But what? What does she have to hide? Maybe she's a double agent. I don't think she's a spy. At least not for anyone on this planet. Ah, the old Tish is an alien theory. We haven't discussed that for years, because you know, there is a lot of evidence to back that up. Isn't she just a little too smart to be from Earth? And her family, they yodel. Nothing human could stand that much yodeling. I suggest we pay Miss Tish Katsufrakis a little visit. Everyone knows the plan, right? We never made a plan. Oops. Hello, friends of Tish. This is such very surprise. But it's good surprise, not like finding oxy in onion closet. Hiya, Mr. Ketchufrakis. We were just looking for- Please, you coming in. No need to talk outside like monkeys. Honeybean, I have surprise. Not another ox in onion closet. <laughs> This is super creepy. Being with your friend's parents when your friend isn't there is always creepy. Mr. 
Mr. and Mrs. Katsu Frackus. Uh, we were wondering where Tish... You like the Kiber and Tinsy? Um... I... Uh... Yeah! These things are amazing! Can you make more? We would need to have more ingredients flown in from old country. Thanks, that'd be great. So, can you, uh, tell us where Tish is? She doesn't tell you? She is with Cows and Duck. Cows and Duck? Goodbyes! Coming again soon! I've never tasted anything like that. Was that meat inside or cheese? I want to know about the cows and ducks. Tish is with cows and duck. What could that mean? Obviously, it's some kind of secret spy code. It probably means steal the microfilm. Uh-huh. Yeah, good. Or, crazy thought, it could mean she went to the pet and zoo at the mall. All right. Yeah. Good There's a cow, but no ducks. And no tish. I'm glad some kids your age aren't too cool to enjoy wholesome entertainment like a petting zoo. Oh, we're definitely too cool. <gasps> Look, a bunny! I'm gonna call him Jimmy Too. Mr. Higginbotham, you haven't seen Tish, have you? Hmm. She might have been with that group that was protesting the exploitation of animals. But they all went to the beach to protest people who feed the seagulls. Or people who don't feed the seagulls. I'm not sure which. I know why Tish ditched us. She thought we'd make fun of her protest group. Why would she think that? Because we did it the last 14 times she protested something. That's no reason to jump to conclusions. It doesn't matter. She's not here. If Tish really is trying to avoid us, I bet she'd go someplace we'd never expect to find her. Like where? Well, no sign of Tish in there. Can't we save for just one more movie? Carve, we're trying to find Tish. But the three nitwits meet Dracula's uncle is next. That's the best one. Oh, come on. Come on, please. Guys. <laughs> Why is it Tommy's International Sausage House? Do they have, like, French sausages? I don't know, but I'm about to be speaking French. Into a toilet? I give up. We've looked for Tish everywhere I can think of that we'd never think of looking for Tish. Try looking there. What are you up to, Tish? Ah. Who's Tish? Maybe it's Tish in disguise. Or maybe it's Tish out of disguise. I'm sorry, sir. We thought you were someone else. I was. But hey, like, people change, man. be a way we could find out what Tish is hiding from us. Maybe she isn't hiding anything. Maybe she's just mad at us. What could we possibly have done to make her mad? <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. So, what you doing? Well, I was reproducing the Mona Lisa in chalk. Until someone skated over it! <laughs> I left the pie out here to cool off. Have you seen it? No. Why do you ask? <laughs> it's a model of Shakespeare's Globe Theater made entirely of toothpicks. It took me months. Not bad. Can I borrow one? Well, I sure didn't do anything to make her mad. Me neither. Not me. Then what's going on with her? I think I know. Look. Oh, I don't believe it! She ditched us to hang out with some other kid? I want to be alone. 
<laughs> I say we officially demote her from friend to acquaintance. Duh. Wait, how do we do that officially? Just call the U.S. Department of Friends and Buddies. They have a form you can fill out. Oh. Huh? So Tish is tired of us. So she's moved on. So what? Sure, this is a big relief, really. No more dulcimer concerts. No more vegetarianism. No more endless talks about whatever it was she was talking about when I had no idea what she was talking about. Hey, guys, what's up? Oh, look, it's Tish. That's right, Tish. Her name slipped in my mind for a second there. What's with you guys? With us? Nothing's with us. Is something with you? Or rather, is someone with you? Tish, you are coming or spending time now with your friends? I... I don't know. Friends of Tish, have you met already Tish's cows and duck? There she goes with that cows and duck again. Oh, she means my cousin Doug. Is what I say. Cousin Doug? Doug came into town unexpectedly Friday night and I've been showing him around. Didn't Mama tell you guys I was with him? Guess she did. S sort of. Doug, I want you to meet Tino, Lore, and Carver. Any cousin of Tish's is a cousin of ours. Oh, Tish, he's talking, talking, talk about you. The which is one who ate 40 kiber in Tinsy? That would be Carver. 40 kiber in Tinsy? You are a very brave man. Brave? Why? Does he not know they are start with ostrich meat? <gasps> Jimmy! Oh, uh, oh, uh. It's been nice seeing my cousin, but I was kind of bummed. I didn't get to spend any time by myself. Well, we'll make sure to give you plenty of alone time next weekend. Yeah, it's the least we can do after what we've been doing the last couple of days. Why? What have you been doing? Uh, you know, just things and stuff and junk. Never mind. I don't want to know. Well, I guess now we know you have to trust your friends. You know, respect their privacy, and don't start imagining all sorts of crazy... Who are you talking to? Are you hiding something from us? Right. Later days. Later days.